Life's entirely too short to not do what you want. I have not done this in a, in a year. Set timer for one minute. Oh, oh it's not gonna work. Oh God. Today we're gonna learn how to drift. And this is by no means the proper way to drift. This is my first time. And it's good. What else do you do with the cold and the mud? I forgot everything I was gonna say for this intro, but the minute is up, that's lovely. Welcome to, welcome. <laughs> Let me just take this off. I had a whole bunch of things I was going to say, but let's just get into this today's sponsor and then I'll explain things a bit better. Today's sponsor is Timu. They are a very, very large site. They offer free shipping, 90, up to 90% off items, $5 credit for late delivery, free returns for up to 90 days. I got some things from them that I wanted to show to you. You can download Timu and get a $100 coupon bundle with the link below or you can use my code. The items that I got are things I want to put in Yuki and I've been wanting to get for a while. The first thing is I needed a new camera bag because mine was really small and terrible and stressed me out every single time that I used it. So I finally got one that actually holds all my cameras, my 360 camera, my drone, and it keeps them protected as well and easy access open from right here. So I put my DSLR that I'm using right there in here. I can organize things. I have a tripod. I have my extra battery packs, drone, 360 camera, and then also waterproof. Okay, so the things that I'm gonna put in Yuki, I have not opened them yet, so I wanna show them to you. The first thing is this. I've been thinking of ways to try and make Yuki more comfortable, because she wasn't the most comfortable. And this is a camping pad, which would be nice, in case I wanted to camp as well, but just having this on hand. So this is what it looks like. It's small, um, but it'll just be helpful in having a little more cushion. So I'll just lay this down. Another thing I got is, unfortunately, the lights that I taped up in Yuki shorted out, so I need different lights. And I don't need a bunch of colors, I realized, um, so I'm just gonna use these ones. They're waterproof and camp with them. That's how it works. You pull the string out, and these are all the little lights. It just wraps right back up, that's so cool. And then I can just put this anywhere. It's a nice camping light, that's so cool. And then the last thing, and I'll have links to everything below, is, this, this is an actual tent that you put on the back. We'll, we'll try and set this up later in this video. But basically, if you, you see in the picture right here, it's, it sets up right on the back. It doesn't look too complicated. I can leave my trunk open and sleep like that and have a lot more airflow. Obviously, it's winter time, so I can't use it right now. But once I get back to the West, this will be very handy too. And it's small and lightweight, so it stores easy. So those are the things that I got from Timu. Again, you can get the links and everything below. We're gonna continue on with this video. Aha, first try. Like my hat, mm, exhaust. <laughs> All right, so if you remember, this is how Yuki looks in the back. This mat is small, but I think that it will really help to put underneath the pad that's already here. So if I just like lift this up, put this underneath. I mean, you get the idea. I'm not sleeping here right now, but it'll go under and if it's too long, then it can just be folded. So I think this will be a nice little addition. Do you remember? Going on an adventure. I have a compass. I think doing donuts and things like that is important because it teaches you how to be in control of your vehicle. Exhaust fumes are not good for me. Okay, so this is it. I'm gonna try drifting for the first time in the mud. I was supposed to be in the snow, but 
there's no snow here, so it's just we're just going to get really, really muddy, um, as you can see. But we're going to go up here, and my dad is going to teach me how to properly do this, maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let it coast. Okay, stop. Now we're going to be going downhill, so we'll get a good run start. So I take it out of four-wheel drive? Yeah, take it out of four-wheel drive. I'm scared. Yeah, you want you spin, you just go like this, and just gas it. And just, you know, go this way, go that way, and, but keep it, and it ain't hurting because you're spinning. Well, let's just go because I'm getting right. nervous. Remember, put your hand up this way, go so, this way. So to get there, how much do I gas it? Not very much, just normal gas driving? Yeah, you're gonna have to gas it. Up. So I go gas now? It, gas it, gas it, gas it. Okay, now you're sideways. Rip it, rip it, like this. Woo! Oh my god! Uh, go the other way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Don't cut, not too fast. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. What? What do I do? Slow, Dad? Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you overcorrected that way, and we went almost in a circle. But you want to. I thought I was trying to go in a circle. Yeah, you can, but you want to do it slow to get used to it. You overcorrected up. Too much. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Wait, hold on. Yeah. I want to see it from the outside, so I'm going to film you while you do it. Is that okay? Because I think it'll look but cooler. Me out <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just pretend that I'm driving it. But you got real good real fast. My beginner drifting and now we have to wash it because it's so muddy and there's like grass stuck up all underneath and now what I want to do which seems a little uh, counterintuitive for winter is put on a solar panel it is one that kind of works in shade it, it does work in shade so we're gonna put it underneath the rack and not put anything on top of the rack nice and semi-clean not perfectly clean but we're not about perfection here on the victoria road show good enough is our motto i'm going to show you guys how we install install the solar but because my microphone's dying i'm just going to do a voiceover plus the sound in here is not great we'll see if it works i don't i don't know if this will work i'm the sort of person who does things first and then figures out whether it works or not later anytime you're customizing something you never really know so you just do it and then you deal with the problems later i probably shouldn't do it that way but i do I was opposed to drilling any holes in Yuki, but she's worth less than three grand and she's mine, so I'm just gonna do it. I drilled a big hole, which is very hard to get through, probably because we picked a bad place to drill. And then we put rubber under the screws and drilled in the panel to the roof. In hindsight, we probably should have put better sealant in those screws. It did make me sad to drill a hole in her. I'm like, sorry. The most miserable day out possible. Fortunately, I believe that our work is holding up. It's at one watt. Things are a lot slower moving because the weather is so bad all the time. So I have a balance of trying to fix up Yuki and have goals and ambitions and also learn baking and making cinnamon buns and hanging out with the animals while I'm here. Balance. And all of this that I'm doing with Yuki is first time experimenting, seeing what I can do, what I can get away with, what I can't. It's worked out so far pretty good, but there's always going to be 
things that don't work out and then maybe weird ideas or just things that whatever you know Yuki's not gonna live forever she probably won't live that much longer to be honest but the solar panel for some reason it's not it's not creating any voltage and I don't know if that's because there's not enough sun we kind of slop dropped it obviously like don't critique or mansplain this if you do have any suggestions you can comment below but because this is kind of like a big experiment of you know I don't I'm wearing this dress because I just got it but it is not dress weather but I wanted to show you mini dress <laughs> anyways um, and then there is a small leak which was what the main thing that I was afraid of like I said she's not gonna last forever so it's okay I'm going to take her over and we'll seal her up better but that's annoying I wanted to try this tent out as well so I'm gonna put on warmer clothes and try the tent out but that is the update on the solar panel so let me show you zero which yes there's no sun but even still there should be at least one watt for this panel and as you can see here, it doesn't look like this should be the thing that's leaking. I think it's one of the screws. A little bit of wetness right here. I can't win them all, so we'll fix that before I go anywhere. <laughs> I'm ready to, um, you know, to get out of here, but can't because I have to get this thing inspected again very soon. It's been a year already. So apparently this is really easy. The instructions are right here. Pretty simple. You know, the first way to do things is always without the instructions. And then when you get confused, then you use the instructions. like so and it's done wow that was really easy all right let's open this up and then we have our little bug net right here and then we have tent <laughs> that's pretty cool i wonder if it'd keep the rain out i think it would that is going to be the end of this video Again, stay tuned about the solar thing. I'm really sad about it, but life moves on and we'll figure it out. And if I do travel the West again, it's not the biggest deal because it does not rain that much out there. We do want warmth, some sunshine someday, which would be nice. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'll see you in the next video, <laughs> if I don't freeze. Right. Stay extraterrestrial.